G'day viewers, it's Shane here from Red Tech Pest Control. I'm in Basing State, I'll, I'll just block that out. There you go, how's that? That's a bit better. So I'm uh, I'm in a loft. I've just been asked to come in and check for any wasp nests. And there is a big one just here, but it's quite old. And I thought I'd show it to you anyway. The customer has asked me to remove it. So I'll just spin the camera around and I'll show you what we're looking at. Right, yeah, we're in, we're in a big old loft, very old building. 150 year old I think and down in there you can see quite a large wasp nest it's not the biggest I've ever found but it, it's fairly big but what I thought I'd show you is just how do you tell if it's new or old how do you tell well I guess one way is going outside and having a look to see if there are wasps flying in and out of the, the roof space there I think well, this is this is definitely old because we're in June and this is last year's wasp nest. The size of it, it would never be constructed so quickly. The wasp season hasn't really kicked off yet here in the UK or at least in the south. So um, I wouldn't expect to see a, a wasp nest this size. But saying all that, you never know. So don't <laughs> go sticking anything in it until you get someone to check it if you want it removed. This one here, you can see all the cables coming through. It looks like they've actually wrapped it around, right around that. So how big is that? That's the, that's bigger than a soccer ball. Um, it's actually a, a basketball size, maybe a bit bigger. A single queen would have been in there last year and it's been, the nest was never treated and it was allowed to mature. And look at that, it is beautiful beautiful but no longer required the uh, the queen would have uh, passed away at the end of the season new queens would have emerged from that nest and gone off to hibernate through the winter to start their own nests this year so they don't move into an old palace the queen wants to build her own and that's what it's all about in the wasp world building this is what they're doing and that's that's actually wood they've it's made from pulp I did a video the other day, you might have seen, where showing the wasps scraping the wood from the, the fence post. And there you have it. Look at it. It is quite beautiful. Quite big. Very fragile. It'll literally fall apart as I remove it. And I'm going to remove it now, so I'll give you an, give you an update on how fragile that is. I'm just going to get in a better position, so I'll just pause the video for Alrighty. a second. We can get a closer look at it. There it is, look at that. Sorry about the shadow from my phone there. If I take my head torch off and move that around a little bit to the left. There we go. Look at that. So this is this is constructed in a single season. And it is quite big and the perfect size. Perfectly round, fairly round. <laughs> a lot of work going into that. Now, let's see if I can disrupt it whilst okay. I'm videoing so I can just push my hand straight in there like that look at that it just comes away just coming away really light really fragile splitting open I'm hardly touching it and straight into the bag would you like to see inside a wasp nest let's have a look We split it open. Here we have what it looks like inside the nest. Look at that. Not honeycomb. Looks like it, doesn't it? But it isn't. These are egg cells. The queen lays her eggs in there. And the eggs become grubs. The grubs become wasps. So each one of these cells would have contained a wasp. And they're stacked inside the nest. I'll show you how they're kind of stacked together. It's like, a, it's like a car park in here. They're stacked up. And if you look down in there, you can see the little struts that, are, that they construct to layer it. The engineering of this is quite incredible. Of course, if this was full of wasps, this would be a different story. I'd be fully suited up and uh, I'd be giving them a lot more respect. <laughs> 
but you never know. I, I, with experience, you know what you're looking at. But if you haven't, if you're not sure what you're looking at, always call a professional. I think that's the most important point. And that's it. It just falls off like that. I'm just going to bag that up and take it away. You can see where the where the cables went right the way through it. That is just light as a feather. It literally just crushes in my hands, turns to powder. See that? Very light. Very cool. Well, there you go. If you have got a wasp nest in your in the Basingstoke area, we cover Newbury, Winchester, all around there. Give us a call. Shane from Red Tech. Thanks for watching the video.